and welcome back, everyone, for week 13, part two of the 2019 NFL season. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving day. We did pretty well with the picks. Um, we made some money on the teaser play. Hopefully, we'll do it again this week. But we're going to start you off, as usual, with Billy B's college picks. All right, what's up, everybody? Billy B. back. Uh, I'm going to give you uh, the college picks real quick. Georgia minus 28, LSU minus 16 and a half, Wake Forest minus 4, and Nevada minus 7. There you have it for the college picks. Send it on over to Gio for his NFL picks right now. And the first game we're going to look at has Green Bay Packers going to New York, where the Giants are six and a half point dogs at home. Last week, the Packers went to the West Coast and just got clobbered by the San Francisco 49ers. But you know what? That's what a lot of teams, happens to a lot of teams when they go there. Uh, now they go to the other coast, a lot easier team. Uh, New York Giants are struggling offensively. Saquon Barkley, the running back, just has been hurt for quite a while now. Uh, here's a team that's just not going to keep up with Green Bay, a very angry Green Bay team who will probably have to win now that they're tied with my Minnesota Vikings atop the NFC North Division. I think the Packers handle things very easily. So let's play the points and let's take Green Bay minus six and a half. The second game we're going to look at has the Tennessee Titans going to Indianapolis where the Colts are two and a half point favorites at home. Uh, wide receiver T.Y. Hilton is back for Indianapolis, and it seems like whenever he doesn't play, the Colts simply don't win. And when he does play, they almost always win. Cornerback Malcolm Butler is out for Tennessee. Remember, he was the uh, hero for the New England Patriots in that game against Seattle in the Super Bowl. He's out, so I, I expect T.Y. Hilton to have a big game and the offense to have a big game. So you know what? Let's lay the points, and let's take Indianapolis minus 2.5. Now, the total in that game is 43.5. And because I believe the Colts' uh, uh, offense is going to roll, uh, let's take over 43.5 in that game. The third game has the Washington Redskins going to Carolina, where the Panthers are minus 10 at home. Uh, simply put, the Washington Redskins have the worst offense in the league. Uh, they're, they're just not scoring at all. I think they... Um, their only touchdown last week was a big kickoff return. Carolina is pretty uh, smarting right now. They're five and six on the outside looking in. They don't win this game. They probably won't make the playoffs. I think they're going to route Washington. I know 10 points is high, but in today's NFL, it's not that high. Let's lay those points and let's take Carolina minus 10. And the fourth game we're going to look at has the Los Angeles Rams going to Arizona where the Cardinals are two and a half point dogs at home. Uh, the Cardinals have lost a bunch of games recently, but they're, they're all against good teams, and it seems they're always on the road. They're finally back at home. I think they're, they've played four of their last five games on the road. Uh, their only uh, home game that I could think of was a very close loss, once again, to those Niners by three points. The Rams are struggling. I, I follow this team because... Um, I've got uh, uh, Cooper Cup, the wide receiver, and Jared Goff, the, the quarterback on my fantasy team, and they've been letting me down the last little while. These guys are really struggling. Uh, same with Todd Gurley. They're just not the offensive juggernaut they once were. Uh, I think the Cardinals would love nothing more than to stick it into the Rams' playoff chances. So I think the Cardinals are actually going to win this game, and you get the points. So let's, let's take those points, and let's take Arizona plus 2.5. And, and there's one more... A total I, I'm, I'd like to look at. New England is playing Houston. The total in that game is 45. We all know what New England can do defensively. Um, I, I think they're they're tied with the uh, least amount of overs in the league with Buffalo, who uh, actually got an over yesterday, even though I picked them to get the under. Anyways, I'll, I, I think the uh, it's going to be a typical New England game where they smother Houston's offense. So let's take under 45 in that game. All right, and for the NFL picks, I like the Eagles minus 10 against the Dolphins. Eagles are in a must-win situation with the rest of these games. Uh, the Cowboys losing on Thanksgiving uh, really gave a boost to um, the Eagles here. I think that'll promote, uh, propel them for a big victory here against Miami. I think they'll win this game by 14 or more. So take the Eagles minus 10. Next game, I like the Patriots minus 3.5 against Houston. Uh, Patriots uh, are just on a roll defensively. They're 
They're um, playing great football uh, all season. The Patriots offense hasn't been uh, what it's been in the years past, um, but they haven't really have they haven't really had to be. So um, but this game, I think that the Patriots will um, be able to slow down Deshaun Watson, and I think they'll be able to take Hopkins out of the game. And I just think that they'll win this game by a touchdown. So take the Patriots minus three and a half. And the next pick, I like the Packers minus six and a half against the Giants. Uh, Packers need a nice uh, big win here. That Their division is very tight. Uh, them, the Vikings, are um, battling out for the division. They can't afford to lose to an inferior team. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is going to have a big game in this game. I think he'll throw for three touchdowns at least. Uh, and then the Packers will win this game fairly easily. So take the Packers minus six and a half. And my last pick, I like the Washington Redskins plus 10 against the Panthers. Uh, <clears throat> now, yeah, the Panthers offense has not looked great. Uh, the last couple of weeks, I think teams have kind of kind of figured out Kyle Allen. Um, and Washington's defense isn't that bad. So I just think the 10 here is a little bit too much. I think the Panthers do win this game, but uh, I'll take the 10 points. So take the Redskins plus 10. So there you have it for the uh, NFL picks. Thanks for watching. Let's win some money this week. And here's my Let's Take the Man's Money Parlay play and the six game six point teaser play. For the parlay, we'll take Green Bay minus six and a half, Indianapolis minus two and a half, Carolina minus 10, and Arizona plus two and a half. We'll take over 43 and a half on the Tennessee Indianapolis game, and we'll take under 45 on the New England Houston game. A $25 bet will get us $1,267.95. And for the teaser play, we'll tease the Green Bay Packers down to minus half a point, Indianapolis to plus three and a half, Carolina down to minus four, Arizona up to plus eight and a half. We'll tease the total in the other two games, Tennessee, Indianapolis, we'll tease them down to 37 and a half and take the over. And the New England Houston game, we'll tease them up to 51 and take the under, a $25 bet. We'll get us $175. Good luck. Okay, and those are our picks for this week. Good luck to you. Make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Now leave a comment below and hit the like button. All right. For my good buddy, Billy B, I am Geo. Let's take the man's money.